welcome back to my channel and today I want to do a review on the Tiffany cart. Um, I got mine from HSN and my only regret is I did order two of them and then I turned around and decided to cancel one because um, and I ordered them on that craft day because I thought oh I only need one and then I highly regretted it whenever I got it home because I really wished I had like five of these and they're sold out. Um, I do know they're having another craft day August 16th so I'm going to get back and hopefully this product will be back in stock and I definitely want to order more. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, it's very sturdy, easy to put together. I think it took me maybe 10-15 minutes to put together. It was really easy and I love that I can store so much stuff on it. Let's go ahead and get started and I'm going to kind of go around this a little bit and show you what all I was able to put on the cart plus I still have tons of room and see what I'm kind of utilizing. So let's jump right in. Okay, so let's start with the very top layer to show you what all I put in the cart. I really kind of wish I would have done a video showing you how fast like I put this together, but I do believe there is other videos on YouTube about that. So let me show you what I do have in here. So one of the first things that I did put in here was my HP printer. I was able to put this in here. Um, also with the charger, um, I have some. I do have some of this uh, foam tape in here. So I made it like a really quick cart that I can grab and bring to my workspace. Um, I do have a Zyron sticker maker and this is that new color that came from um, HSN. Um, I do have my Cricut spatulas in here. Um, I also have my silhouette one as well. Let's see if I can get it out. I do also have my silhouette. And so I just kind of have that tucked in the front because it does come with these little baskets here. Came with two different sizes here. And um, you can move them forward and backwards and kind of add more things in the front of them. So um, I just put some ribbon here. Um, I do have my charger in here to like charge my phone and I can also charge uh, my printer as well as my, I can you know plug other things into this. So I keep that in there. And the same charger that fits this can fit that. Um, and the brand that I have is Morphe, just in case you're wondering if you'll be able to see that. I did get mine from Verizon. I bought the bundle where it came with this, um, the phone case, and the Gorilla Glass. And those were all, I think it was like 70 bucks or 80, 70 or 80 dollars um, for the whole pack. So instead of getting like the car charger, I got this one so you can just throw it down in your purse and charge. Um, and I think it's $49.99 on its own normally. Um, I do have some chalk in here, some regular crayons. Um, I have some tape runner. Um, I have my extra batteries for my um, camera. Um, I do have a thing of whiteout in here, and this is like so that way I can work on my journals and stuff at the same time. Um, so a lot of this is basically the top basically is towards my journaling. Um, but I do have stuff that I use for like making my cups and stuff, like my Mod Podge dishwasher safe one, um, and I've got two of those and um like that i used to do my glass the speedball except for this one is the wrong one i do need the one without the oil um i do have my glass etching in here so see i have all my supplies there for my glass etching um i do got a couple of sponges in here for doing cups or doing glass etching um i do have a pair of scissors those are the tim holtz um i have a brush for just a brush just for like dusting things off when I'm working on a project with glitter um, and then I have all my pens like here I have some my like, basic ones that I would use on planning or other things so I have some regular sharpies here um, that have the regular point here and then I have and those all fit in there and that was like a regular like pack size I don't know how many is there um, and then I do have the ultra fine point sharpies here um, and then I have some regular basic pins here that I use in my, uh, these are the paper mate that I use in my planning. Um, I do have a, an embossing pin from Ranger, just kind of basics here. I do have a little thing of glue, um, my glitter and white pin, gel pin. Um, these new Sharpies that I did get from, I don't know if they're really new, new, but I did get these for my journaling and I really like them. Um, they do have like a clear spot, I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. So where you guys can see what you're highlighting here, and I really like those for journaling. So I have those for my planner. And they do go forward and backwards. Okay, so let me kind of bring this down a little bit and we will see what is on the second shot. Pull the card out just a little bit. So let me kind of show you what I have in here a little bit. 
I just have a few of like the paper pads in here. Um, my photo printer paper that came with my printer. So a lot of this one here is for me to um, to be able to make cards, stickers, um, and the stuff for my printer as well. So you have like the sticker papers and stuff. Um, just different little card stock. I've got a few pieces of, um, I have that vinyl that I showed you guys from that um, video. Um, and a few other little pieces of stuff in there that's just kind of small. But basically on this one is just, all I really have in here is card stock. So I have basic colors of card stock, etc. So like I said, that one's for like card making, um, photo printing, and sticker making and stuff like that. Um, as well as stuff for my journal because I do use um, the paper pads. Okay, the last thing on the last shelf is um, I put my silhouette portrait in there. Um, I unplugged the cords and everything, but it did not fit in there uh, completely like set down in the basket. So I just have it up just a little bit and it slides completely back in there. And I have the cords back behind the silhouette. So see, you can just still slide it back in there. And let me show you the stuff that I have on the side. Uh, and I've kind of just thrown some stuff in there and really I haven't utilized them to their full extent yet. But um, the first one is going to be, um, I do have a few things of the um, Kaiser Craft flowers in here um, for card making. And then I also have some rubber gloves down there in the bottom for my etching my glass. Um, there's a whole other pocket down here at the very bottom that I have not utilized yet. Next thing is that I really like is this side pocket here to hold my uh, paper trimmer. Um, like she showed on HSN, it's super easy because when you're working on a project, you're constantly throwing that thing everywhere. I can cut something, slide it back in my pocket, take it back out when I need it again. And um, I really love that pocket. That's probably like my favorite pocket of the whole situation. And this one is my Fiskars, and it fits right in there. So this is my Fiskars, and it just slides right in there just like this. And then you can kind of bring this around. Now, it does, I do just have to take my, like, okay, let me turn it around so we can see the other side. So on this side here, on this pocket, what I have done with the like pin holders, um, I have put a few of my silhouette tools in here, and then I put my micro pins here because I don't really want to combine them with anything else. And then I still have a few more pockets for that. Pocket here, I did put my HP photo printer, um, photo printer paper in here, and um, it holds it quite well. And I still have tons of space in this pocket. And I'm also keeping the extras of these here to use for whenever I purchase the Polaroid pictures paper so I can try it on there because you have to have these. So that way I can keep them nice and safe right in the pocket. And like I said, there's still tons of space in that one. I could always throw my little HP printer in here as well. So you can see that. Um, and then my next thing is I do have my selfie stick here that um, I checked for my daughter and I'm gonna use that for when I'm doing live videos. And um, I also have my little Cricut pouch here that has a few of my pins. Um, I do have quite a bit of the, the pins because I did get the mystery box, but I just keep a few in here because I haven't opened them all yet. So these are just the ones that are open, um, minus the ones that are on my Cricut. Um, so I keep that in there. And then I also have my um, precision press stamping block in here. So that fits right inside that pocket. And let's see. On the back side, let's turn it around. Okay, now let's go over the back side pockets here. So what I use mine for is, I have my baby wipes in the front here and that is for um, when I'm doing stamped images. Um, there's still plenty of space. As you can see, this is a whole pocket. There's plenty of space down there to put more stuff. Um, in the second pocket, I did put my, uh, put my Martha Stewart score pad in here. Um, and so that is in the second pocket and there's still plenty of space in that pocket as well to stuff more stuff. And then in the back pocket, I just put in all my mats. So I have my silhouette mats here and then I have all of my Cricut mats right in here as well. So um, that is in the back pocket there. Now, so now that I have that kind of up a little bit where you can see the whole top here, um, so let me show you again real quick so you can see all my mats are right here on the top. Um, here is my long mats, my extra long mats that are 24 inches long from Cricut. I have two of them. Um, if you try to put them 
in the very back pockets, they're going to flop over like that. Um, that is as far as they go down, and so that's not going to work. I mean, yes, if I keep it leaned up against the wall where it's just kind of holding it like that, but then when you pull it around, it's just going to be flopping around. So, um, and then it's just the worst you're going to get because each pocket's like goes upward, so you have you lose space. Well, actually, the very front one here. Let's see. That's the very front. It's still going to flop way over. Um, that's the furthest pocket there. So there's just no, that's not going to work out, which is totally fine with me. Um, I have not tried, this is something, let me try it really quick. Wonder, maybe if I stick them all the way down here, that would actually work. Um, no, it would not. Okay, so you could stick them in here, but the only problem with that is they're going to go down to the floor. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me bring it forward just a little bit. See, they're just going to come out on the floor as you push them out, so that's not going to work. So I just keep my mats uh, separate, and that's totally fine. I actually have a spot beside my table, and I just keep them beside them in the floor. No big deal on that, but I still, I definitely, I want another one to completely put, like, all my cuddle bug stuff to keep all my... Um, embossing all my dies and all my folders and stuff and then I do want a second one because you can take these little trays and stuff out and I can set my cuddle bug on top and then I do want another one for all my stamping stuff separate so I can put my um, my little stamping all my stuff that goes with my stamping like embossing stuff stamp pads um, like ink pads and all that kind of jazz I can put in this one and keep it totally separate so these two more um, and I would be totally stoked with that so I'm gonna check on the 16th so I wanted to show you guys this ahead of time just in case you guys were wondering about getting one wondering if they were cheap and or if they were sturdy they totally are super sturdy um, they like wheel around really easy as you can see um, super easy to maneuver and like I said I just pull it right up to my um, my workspace to me it comes up right up underneath my table so perfect for when you're sitting in the chair and you just kind of pull it right up to you I've even used it working on my couch um, I was working on my planners one night and I had my daughter wheel it right over to me and I worked right out of it on my couch so highly recommend this guys and um, so I hope you guys like this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one